Hello everybody! Welcome to an unboxing video! I've stopped saying who I am because if you don't know who I am by now, well, too bad. No, it's not very nice. If you don't know who I am, I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, but you're on the Gourmet Pens channel, so you probably figured that out for yourself. So, anyway, today we are going to be looking at an interesting pen. It is, it is very interesting. Uh, this pen was sent over by Benu, so thank you, Benu. Um, it's very interesting because it's very unusual. Now, Banu is located in Russia and they make their own pens. And the cool thing I would say is I know a lot of them are not for everyone because a lot are very bright, a lot are very sparkly, a lot of colors, but they're doing something very unique in that they are giving us really interesting models, which I like because I like weird pens and really interesting colors, but also now really just really interesting so this is the parrot pen and this is the purple one there is also a yellow green pink and blue i mean how many times have you seen a pen like this they're certainly not just making another pen like another just plastic pen in colors they're doing something very nifty so I think that's really cool and I appreciate it because this helps the fountain pen world grow because this is going to appeal to a market that, I don't know, like something else might not. So I appreciate that. So thank you, Benu. Keep up the good work with the fun animals. Like cats, maybe? Cats would be cool. So one, one of the other things I love is their packaging. It is just a cardboard box and the pen comes in a paper sleeve and it has a bed of shredded paper at the base. Also interesting, it smells really nice. So the pen smelled faintly of this really nice, just like floral smell. Very nice. So the paper tells you that you have a two year warranty from date of purchase. Two years is actually pretty decent because usually it's just one year. And it tells you about product care, like, um, use ink for fountain pens, do not drop your pen if you can help it, uh, how to keep your nib clean, etc. They also have the contact if you wanted to, if you had any questions or anything about the, the pen or anything. So I appreciate this. No plastic. Thank you. So it can be done. Plastic is not necessary. You don't have to ship a pen in a plastic sleeve. It can be a recyclable paper sleeve. And the other thing is this is all reusable or recyclable. So I really like that. The model and stuff is on the bottom. So you know what's in your box. But I just, like, for example, this is a sailor box for a 1911 standard. And this is a boom box. This has plastic and felt and more plastic. And it's so big, it's not necessary. And this is perfect. So I love the packaging and I really appreciate it. So thank you, Benu. Please keep up the great packaging work. But you don't care about the packaging, you care about the pen. The Parrot Pen. So much coolness going on here. So it has a white base with colored material at the, bay, at the, at the bottom of the barrel, as well as gold sparkles. So the different colors will have a different color base but it's still gonna have gold sparkles. The center band is a cute little parrot face with pink crystals. Now I've had this for a couple weeks, so I don't know how long the crystals will stay. We're just gonna have to see. It is really cute though. The cap has Banu written right here, but other than that, there's no other branding. It's very simple. There are, I mean, it's just so nifty. Look at the feathers. I realize this pen is not gonna be for everyone, that's cool. Bird lovers are probably gonna like it. Animal lover might like it. Certain pen lovers will like it. I just appreciate that it's an option. Now, it comes with a Schmidt converter. Thank you for using Schmidt and not just another cheap junky converter that breaks after three uses. I say that because this has happened to me recently. I find them really comfortable. The sections are quite long, the threads are smooth, so you have enough space for your hand, but it's not gonna get in the way. And it can post, should you wish. Still comfortable. They're really light, they're just really nice. They can use converters, cartridges, or I eyedropper them quite often. The only problem with eyedroppering with a solid pen is you have no idea how much ink you have, but it doesn't matter. You can also just open it up and check. Now, the, uh, the white 
I inked with Yamabuto. It has picked up a very, very faint Yamabuto color, very faint. And it just looks like a pink light reflection. But if you are someone who doesn't like that kind of thing happening, then you can ink from the converter. I don't really care. So um, yeah, it's up to you. Now, my only complaint and the only feedback I have given Banu is that I would love to see them rebrand these Schmidt nibs. But I have used something like 25 Banu pens and all of the nibs have been absolutely flawless. Smooth, wet, no skips, no hard starts, not over polished, just flawless. So I don't know if they are checking them in-house or if they like if they adjust them in-house or if they're just checking them for quality as they go out the door. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it really well because the writing is just stellar. So although I complain that it's just an unbranded or not rebranded Schmidt nib, whatever they're doing is working because the nibs are performing really well. So it's just a visual thing. But I think it would be really neat if they had their own branding on the nib because otherwise the package is really amazing. So the Parrot pen retails for at 93 US and they have some more expensive models like the Chameleons, which are like around 120. And I think they go as low, like their models go as low as 80. So you are getting a plastic pen. It is a cartridge converter or eyedropper with a steel nib, but you know, 93 is not terrible. I mean, I think the average plastic pen, sorry, I think the average plastic pen with a steel nib is around like 125 and typically that's a number six nib but you're looking at like 125 to 160 so you know if it appeals to you i don't think it's terrible and i realize you can also go to um amazon or ebay and buy like something like a platinum 3776 with a gold nib for like 90 maybe i'm not sure i have never actually bought one from eBay or Amazon, but others have told me you can get them quite inexpensively from Japan. So if you're looking for a gold nib and you want like the best value, that might be your better option, but it's not gonna be a parrot pen. It's not gonna be this cute. So super cute. I really like it. I was torn between this and the pink and now I'm kind of thinking I should have gotten both, but we'll see. Uh, so yes, thank you to Benu. I, I think this is really neat and I really appreciate what you're doing. And, and it's really well made. It's, it feels really good in hand. It's, it's definitely going to attract more attention than something like just a standard flat top torpedo pen. This is not flat top, but a flat top or like a torpedo pen because it's, it's catchy. So it's pretty nifty. Let's take a look at how it writes because it writes really well and I want to show it off. And I will see you in a second. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome to the writing portion of the Banu Pen Parrot. As you can see, it is a parrot. Look at the detail of those feathers. Super cute. Quite a pretty pen. I think it's adorable. Now, let us write. I'm trying to make sure I'm writing at a angle that you can actually see what I'm doing. My handwriting is pretty atrocious right now because I'm still recovering from a tendonitis flare-up. So I'm writing slowly because that is all I can manage. So this broad nib is super smooth, quite wet, and flawless. Hideous handwriting, but you get the idea. So as I said, the nibs, like the not having a rebranded nib is, it's just kind of boring, but they perform really well. And I've been very, very pleased with the writing experience. So in terms of that functionality, I can't really complain. So there you go. Very nice. It's a very firm nib, so don't expect anything out of it like line variation out of it. Alas, oh, I can't even cap it. There you go, a writing sample of the Banu Parrot. I hope this has been useful. Thank you to Banu for sending this over. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. If you would like, I would love it if you would like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. Thank you again, we will see you next time.
拜。